What's up, people? It's your boy, MM2K. We're back again with another special stream. Um, today, we're going to be doing the PlayStation 5 Pro um, showcase with Mark Cerny. I'm very excited about that. I, I And because of that, I had to change my job schedule. Now, normally with my new schedule, I have like an hour layover. I don't have an hour layover today because I'm taking a half a day to prepare and um, try to do this, uh, cover the showcase. And I wanna play some Space Marines too. Um, however, I did have like, um, I don't get a lunch, but I did get like a good 20 minutes, maybe a half an hour um, where I could talk to you guys. I got a few moments before I gotta head back. So instead of me taking a full pledge break and stretching, my legs. I just figured, hey, why not log off real quick, talk to you guys about something that I had heard yesterday while I was at uh, my place of business and was like, oh man, that's an interesting topic. And that topic is, um, should the Series S be done with? And shout out to Reforge Gaming. This this was something that he was talking about with his, his his subscribers. And the topic was, look, the Series S has ruined it for so many people. How do you see Microsoft trying to move away from the Series S if they want to get a stranglehold back in the in in, in the console community or even be competitive once again? Um, I think Microsoft is trying to do something totally different. And I think they've abandoned console sales altogether. I mean, off the bat, in order for them to even battle PlayStation in regards to consoles, um, yeah, they would have to get rid of this series. They would have, it would take a substantial financial investment, which they got the war chest to do. You just spent... Uh, you know, $75 billion for Activision Blizzard. I say you take another 2 to $4 billion. And this is what, if they really wanted to get back in the console battle, they could easily do this. Take 2 to $4 billion and tell every Series S owner, um, look, there's, if you want to, you can keep the Series S. But ongoing, we're not going to force developers to support the Series S starting in 2026. So you have until August 30th of 2025 to s send back your Series S or trade it in or whatever, and you'll get full value towards the Series X. Like in, in the, the early model Series X, you know what I'm saying? Like we'll give you full value towards a Series X. Like kind of like what they did with the Xbox 360, how they had to spend like a billion dollars to replace your 360. Trade in, the, trade in the Series S towards the Series X. That's gonna take you about two to three billion. Another billion, or maybe even two, if they were serious about getting back in the game, um, I would have uh, Grand Theft Auto day and date in Game Pass. That would be another one, I would believe like one to two billion. So two billion to replace the Series S, for the people that want to do it through August twenty August thirtieth, twenty twenty five, and another one or two billion to have Grand Theft Auto day and date and game. That way, whether you upgrade to the Series X with your Series S, whether you go and you play GTA on a Fire Stick, whatever. <clears throat> excuse me, regardless of how you do it, you can get a hold of GTA, um, any type of gaming that you are that can really, 
If they spent that four billion to do that, I think that that would really make their entire ecosystem competitive. But I don't. But but Microsoft doesn't have the appetite for that. Here's what I think Microsoft is going to do. Microsoft is going to sell console, I mean, sell games a la carte wherever they can to whomever they can, including PlayStation. They're going to lean heavy on PlayStation, Steam, whatever. With the hopes of using that money to subsidize Game Pass. And they're going to use Game Pass growth as their way to reach gamers. Game Pass on your Fire Stick, you know, Game Pass on your PC, Game Pass on your, wherever you, wherever you can get Game Pass. I, I do think that they're going to reinvigorate the whole Game Pass approach, but it's not going to be as cheap as it once was. You're gonna have different tiers. You're gonna have the PC tier. You're gonna have the ultimate tier if you're on the console, that's going to be your best bet to give you day access to everything. I I, I actually think the best way to to engage um, Xbox, um, which it could be a little pricey depending upon you know what I'm saying, depending upon how you look at it. But I would get I would get Game Pass for twelve bucks a month, or hell, you can go get a key somewhere. I, I get keys for like six bucks for PC Game Pass, but you can get a PC Game Pass twelve bucks a month, right? And then go and um, I would get GeForce Now Ultimate. Now you can get GeForce Now Ultimate for either a hundred and twenty or was it two hundred dollars? A hundred twenty a year, I think it is, or twenty dollars a month. However you slice it, this can be a little pricey, but that's how you. That's your best way to get access to to you know the games on on um, Game Pass and get them in the best fidelity and the best performance. Because if you use Ultimate Game Pass and Game Cloud, you're restricted to the performance that are that is in the cloud, which is based upon what's on the console. So your best bet to me is Game Pass PC and how you get the Game Pass PC games anywhere is through the video GeForce Now. Now, you don't have to get Ultimate. You can get the regular GeForce Now priority, which is cool. Which, which is a cool way to play games. But if you want all the bells and whistles, then I would suggest upgrading to Ultimate. You know what I mean? So basically, yeah, you can get GeForce Now Priority that runs still a thousand times better than xCloud. Play all your Game Pass games through there. Your PC Game Pass games. That uh, PC Game Pass is $12 a month. Priority is $10 a month. So for a couple dollars more than what you get um, for Game Pass Ultimate, you get to play the, your Xbox games the best way. That's my suggestion. Um, but I think what Xbox is gonna do is they're gonna put their games everywhere that they can in order to subsidize Game Pass. Because instead of them trying to get anywhere between the, to 80 to 100 million consoles sold, they'd rather have 80 to 100 million subscribers. If they get 80 to 100 million subscribers that they're getting um, anywhere between what? Let, let's do the, 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 the short math rule. And of course, this is subject to change. Because, um, you know, the prices are going to go up. Let's say $12. What's that? 12 times 12 is what? 240 right? No, 144 Okay. I was going to so, you can get anywhere between $144 to $240 every year from 80 million people. Let's do the math. So if we say 240 times 80, uh, so that's what, hold on, let, let, let's do this again. Let me, let me, let me 240 times 80 million people. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's 19 billion, 200 million a year. 
just off the game pass. Right? And so then within Game Pass, um, if you have uh like DLC, right, if you have DLC that's that's there via the Leviathan games like a Fortnite, a Roblox, an Apex Legends, if you can still if if you embed within Game Pass those games, like I would make them part of Game Pass. Then you can you can capture DLC. You might have you, you you might work to get Grand Theft Auto. You know what I'm saying? Get an Xbox version of Grand Theft Auto. Get that running on Game Pass as well. But you gotta buy it, right? You gotta buy you gotta buy it because it's Grand Theft Auto. And then you have the the option to have um, you know Grand Theft Auto that you purchase. You play that through Game Pass, right? If you can do stuff like that and you reach 80 billion, like I said, that's 19.2 billion right there. I mean, 80 million subscribers, that's 19.2 billion people, I mean, $19.2 billion right there. Just off of Game Pass. That's not, that's not sales a la carte sales that you might get elsewhere. That's a lot of bread. That could make you competitive financially, but the question is, can you get there? Right? Will Game Pass ever become that appealing where 80 billion people would subscribe to it? I mean, not 80 billion, 80 million people would subscribe to it. That, that's the question, but I think that's where they're headed. They are trying, they've stepped away from the console, and I think that's what made them more of a partner with PlayStation. Because PlayStation's like, look, if you're going to keep competing with us, then now you can't put your stuff on our store. And so what they're looking, you know, you, you got, you got um, Nintendo that has its own individual market, you got PlayStation that has its console hardware, you know, and, and it's its store market. And then you got get, you got Xbox with trying to sell its Game Pass as its way to reach games. So you can see right now where they can each operate in their own different lanes. They really don't intersect. And they can work together. Now, the question is like 10, 15 years from now, where this cloud technology is really going to knock it out the park and it gets more embraced then you're going to start seeing all these roads intersect particularly playstation and xbox maybe not nintendo maybe they'll still find some cool ways to have you still want to buy their 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 hardware because they're going to be doing some some cool innovative things but when it comes to the triple a gaming i really don't see that being a desire for triple a gamers they just want their call of duty all right okay maybe the controller got some fancy doodad to it right but the system that you're playing on itself i could see 15 years from now or so that um, you know this cloud technology is going to really start flying, and that's where you're going to start seeing Xbox and PlayStation their roads starting to intersect. Where Xbox, if they're still around or if they're successful with this, um, you know their Game Pass model of. Um, you know, only giving you the Leviathan games and giving you the games that are in Game Pass, that's going to grow. Game Pass will then switch to, you know, Xbox in the cloud. PlayStation would likely have something similar because they got their, their cloud service incubating as we speak. And it actually performs better. So... 
Yeah, I, I would say like 15, maybe 15 years or so down the road, you know, th there could be, the battle could be back on. But I think right now they've taken like a 10 to 15 year truce. That's what I think is going on. They're taking like a 10 to 15 year truce. There's the 10 year deal with Call of Duty. PlayStation is like, okay, fine. And, they, and they've taken a truce for the foreseeable future. But trust me, once cloud technology gets to where it's at, and, and we'll, I'll talk about this more on uh, cloud meets mainstream, when cloud technology gets to where it's at, then you're gonna start seeing Xbox and PlayStation go back at it if both entities are there. You know what I mean? So, all right, those are my thoughts. Again, wanted to just share some thoughts with you guys real quick. Um, join, you make sure you're there with us. 10, 30 a.m. is when we're gonna start the show. Um, and uh, uh, we're gonna be talking a half an hour, about a half an hour before the show starts about our thoughts about the rumors and stuff like that, then we're gonna get right into it. It's, it's like a nine to 10 minute video uh, with Mark Cerny, the master Mark Cerny, and then we're gonna talk about it as long as you guys wanna talk about what we watch. And then we're gonna go and play some Space Marines too, once that conversation is done. So thank you very much. Yep, time for me to go. Um, those are my thoughts on Xbox's strategy. Uh, we'll talk about it next time. And I'm gonna go be over on Cloud Dosage on Thursday. I think this will be a great topic for me to talk about everyone cloud business. All right, with that said, we're gonna have a, uh, we're gonna have a great show today. Um, join us, double hitter again. Um, Mark Cerny's technical test, and then we're gonna be doing um, uh, Space Marine too. Till next time, have a wonderful gaming day, peace.